Hey, and welcome to another episode of Back From The Future. Now today we've got a beauty for you. A very rare Tomy Omnibot 5402. Now that's a bit of a mouthful. Now the reason I've got this here is because it was always a childhood dream of mine to own one. I remember back in the day um, when I first saw this in a toy shop back in somewhere in uh, Huntingdon I believe and I saw this and I absolutely fell in love with it and at the time didn't parents didn't have the means or resources to buy me one of these and I've always always wanted one and now uh, I can re live that dream and uh, I've got one now I bought this um, on eBay for about 40 quid um, 40 pounds that is UK sterling so it's roughly what 55 56 dollars US now the thing is I've already repaired the remote control already and I'll do a, um, a video on uh, me basically being able to change the aerial on this but and I've cleaned it up a little bit because it was quite grubby I've not got it working yet now i'm giving it a name i'm going to name it after one of my good friends who's donated most of the stuff for my film set so i'm going to call name it after one of my close and best mates dave dave david raymond if you're out there watching this i've named him after you now uh so let's get on to um having a brief description of this now i'll take all this bling off so you can see uh Omnibot. Basically, this is the remote. Uh, I have no idea how to use this at all. Uh, basically, on-off switch, from what I can gather, um, it makes sounds and it's got a tape recorder that you can, I suppose, make it play. And also, a you can speak into it and the robot will speak, you know, basically relay your voice through the robot. Um, let's have a quick little overview on this, on the robot itself. I mean, to be honest, without the remote, this thing's pretty useless. It's got a tape player. Hopefully this will come out. Hang on. There we go. And it's already got someone's tape in there. I don't even know. Trust me when I say there's a tape in there. Have I got any idea? Oh, here it is. There we go. There's a tape in there. Um, probably from the person who owned this. Left this tape to sit in there. Okay. You've got a clock. Volume adjustment. Uh, you can stick a microphone in there. And I'll hopefully be trying to put a Bluetooth transmitter in there and see what I can try um, and basically bring it up to date. If I can add a Bluetooth transmitter to this, basically it's a retro uh, MP3 player. So I'm looking forward to doing that. Hopefully, uh, once I get this up and running, um, what else? Right, one thing the term Omnibot did come with was a tray that you could put on this. This didn't come with a tray. It just came as is with the remote control, like I said, with a broken aerial. Uh, right, so let's have a look at, so we've had a good look at the front. Like I said, it's got a clock here. You can choose between tape, radio control, has some kind of a timer button that's off. Let's open the back up, shall we? I've got a screwdriver here. This is, I suppose, the charging port uh, for the battery. Now, it's got a dummy screw on one side and a real screw on the other. And just to open it, just open it like that. And uh, you can see it's got a lead acid battery in there. Um, hopefully I'll be replacing that lead acid battery and we should be getting it up and running. There's a five amp fuse there. Now, 
it takes two AA batteries. I'm presuming that's for the clock. Uh, the contacts are corroded, so they're going to need a clean, and I'll do videos on that, on me cleaning it. Um, what the other little idea I've had is, as well as I'm going to try putting a lead acid battery replacement for the one that originally came with it, but I'm also going to try to see if I can do a lithium iron uh, battery upgrade for this as well. That should be quite exciting. Bring it up to the 21st century as well. So, yeah, I think that's about it. I'll put the back back on. Well, I can put that on back later, actually. Also, it never came with a charger. Uh, so that's another thing I need to get for this. Um, I'll just go back to the remote control. And I don't know if you can see this, the contacts are corroded, so I'm gonna have to clean these out. And um, that's about it. And hopefully the remote works. I mean, I've got no idea actually if any of this works at all. So if it doesn't, it's gonna be a good laugh trying to find out how to get it to work. And I think I've more or less covered everything. Oh yes, and the antenna that came with it was bent. And I think I did a, quite a good job straightening it out and this is going to take um, hopefully pride and, uh, pride and place on in the back here along with all the other uh, vintage memorabilia I've got but like I said I'm so excited I've got this and hopefully I can put this uh, back to its former glory well get it working anyway so oh I'm so chuffed well that's it for today's show and hopefully Please um, like, subscribe, leave a comment and join me on social media, Twitter, Instagram and Facebook and I'll see you in the future if there is one.